You bought what? I bought a burger stand. Is Kirk Johnson's story of discovering passion at the counter of Kansas' oldest drive-in since 1948 amidst the smells, smiles, and echoes. Here's Kirk. Good evening. I'm Kirk Johnson, 25-year uh, Hutch Knight. Uh, after a 30-year career in public and private sector and also corporate America, I was ready for a change. Needed to do something else, and I knew I wanted to do it for myself. So after a eventful buddy golf trip, um, five cups of coffee, and three weeks of shadowing, my friend said, you did what? I bought a burger joint. Larry Burgess came home from World War II uh, Army Air Corps to his hometown of Hutchinson, Kansas, and he knew that the economy was starting to uh, heat up and the society was getting mobile. We were getting to a point where we were going to build out the interstate highway system to supplement both state and uh, local roads, and he knew that people would want mobile dining experiences. Um, so he bought a, bought a lot in downtown Hutchison, south and east of uh, Main Street on Avenue A, and it was in a residential lot. Uh, first three years, it was a, uh, a seasonal, uh, basically root beer and, and uh, hamburger stand, and then he built it in. Borrowed $1,800 from his uncle Melvin Robinson, uh, hence the Robinson Burgess. Uh, society um, into the early 50s, obviously uh, uh, the economy was booming, cars got cooler, people were living their lives, we were traveling across the country. Uh, we had an appetite for on-the-go uh, meals. And uh, we started off with some uh, new technology that came came about from uh implemented through world war ii and uh it's pretty interesting that you could pull your car up roll down your window talk into a box and an operator would respond to you uh you tell them what you want and then somebody would come out and bring that food to the to your car oftentimes on uh, uh, uh roller skates the menu at the RB has been the same for 72 years. Uh, process is the same. They enjoyed the burgers then and the homemade onion rings and the tenders and the fries, just as we do today. Uh, there's been slight variations over time, not only uh, in some of menu items, but also in the building, uh, the building itself. One thing that's, that's painfully obvious to me, but a sign of the times was you advertised on the medium that you had available, and that was windows and, and menu boards. People drove by or drove in, uh, and that's how you would advertise it. Today we have a much cleaner look, open windows, um, kind of reflection back to the original days, uh, even with the renewed emphasis on, um, on neon lighting, uh, and our branding is Kansas, Kansas Oldest Drive-In. When I bought the place, um, we did, the former owners did business uh, throughout South Central Kansas with vendors. One of my most proud um, accomplishments has been able to uh, bring, those, bring those businesses, uh, relationships back in house. Shop local, do business with those who do business with, with you. Obviously in the late 40s, early 50s, uh, our navigation was based on Atlas and road signs. And, uh, and everyone can remember that story about uh, dad took the wrong turn and then mom wouldn't let him take any more turns. And so you did picnics roadside. Today we do GPS, right? We do reviews. We, we ask Google, where can we go that has a, a, a great place to eat? How do we get there? How do we get back? And how long does it take? Um, all those things are very interesting to me in, in bringing experiences from a uh, past experiences um, into play for a small mom and pop uh, drive-in. I'm also very proud of this. So we, we started a travel log. Uh, we wipe this map clean every January. This represents people who have visited the RB who live in these states. The last two years both we've had 42 US states along with six to eight countries uh, represented. I think that the community would be interested to know that a third of our business is local community, a third of the business is a 30 mile radius, and 30, 30, 
third of our business is the traveling public. Part of that is our branding is Kansas oldest drive-in since 1948. Our closest competitor, um, not competitor, but uh, contemporary out of Topeka was also founded in 48, but they opened a second operation. They moved, they closed, they opened. So we lay claim to that as one month prior to them. Social media really drives our business along with GPS. Uh, has to start with quality and value and experience, but then those things uh, help build out our business. What am I passionate about? Relationships. This is uh, Carol Hofer. He was a car hop in 1949 after he gave up his paper boy uh, route. Uh, he was one of our first guys that came in to congratulate me and uh, share his story with me. I'm also very proud that we're continuing a legacy with students uh, that come through Hutchison. I remember growing up in Salina, the Sonic was our place. People share those stories all the time. You have to have a place where the kids, students can congregate, they build memories. They come here to experience it with their friends, their parents, their grandparents, and now they're doing the same. What would life be without having a little fun? The best job is one you're passionate about. Um, who wouldn't want to have a, a patriotic burger? Or meet RB Tom or uh, RB Claus. Um, you should have a little fun at what you do, and we certainly do at the RB. These are my three boys. My daughter is not pictured here. Um, and when I started out on this venture, I did not see this as a uh, generational uh, legacy. I saw it as continuing something that the Wheelers, uh, the Burgess and the Wheeler families had done. And I wanted to continue it on, not just for me, it's a good business, but for this community. This needs to be perpetuated. Stacy Roberts took this photo. Um, I think it is a good summation. She's from Chicago. She found us on social media. She she arrived via GPS and the stories that that counter and those signs and those uh, postcards could tell are, are uh, just immeasurable. Um, I love what I do and I appreciate you letting me be here tonight.